condition where you're born with a lesion or an open wound at the base of the spine. And depending on how high and how big the wound is depends on how much paralysis you suffer from. The biggest effect was spending the first two years of my life in an isolation unit. I had to do an operation to seal the wound and then put me on a metal frame lying on my stomach for two years in a room with no windows and with lights on 24-7. Um, and it was one of the nurses who actually sort of explained to me that when I was lying on this metal frame with nothing to do, that was being awake. And when I was climbing over volcanoes and flying, that was when I was dreaming, which was a bit of a disappointment to start with. So when she was explaining you know, what dreams were, she said I spent more time on the astral plane than I did in the hospital bed. So she nicknamed me the Astral Gypsy. And uh, it stuck. <laughs> but I still think there's a lot of inherent sort of fear around disability. And I've had some strange experiences. Um, and I can't name names on this, but I did once have a, a meeting with a, an editor of a comic company who told me that under no circumstances would he ever consider publishing any of my work that featured disabled characters. I've been training in martial arts for over 30 years. Um, the first art I trained in was called Jiang Kui Dao, which is a Shaolin martial arts system. And I'm a fifth degree black sash in that. Um, I actually inherited the system from the teacher as I was his only student. And it's one of those traditional systems where you pass it down from one student to teacher as it goes down the line. I mean, I've been attacked, like I say, a lot of times. But there was one particular occasion where I was with my sister, who also has a disability. She has a cerebral palsy. And we're in this park, and I'm going down the slide, sort of head first, testing it for her, and realised there was a bit of chicken wire stretched across the bottom of the uh, slide. And attached to both ends were two very large skinheads who were trying to gab at me on the, uh, on the slide. And I ended up in this fight with uh, five skinheads, uh, with baseball bats, bicycle chains, chicken wire and knuckle dusters and I managed to sort of fight them off and get my sister away. The art classes that we run in the studio, um, there's two sides to it and they're very different. The children's class is much more of a club, if you like. I started off trying to teach them specific techniques and way of doing things, but then realised that they're just more interested in playing and in drawing, just for fun, you know. But I still encourage them to use their imagination and evolve ideas and take an idea and develop it as far as they can. Well, I certainly don't feel like a superhero. I'm sure Spider-Man doesn't have aches and pains and uh, you know, sort of <laughs> struggle to get out of bed in the morning, you know.